Welcome back to Jetline Marvel for another thrilling aviation episode. In this video, we'll have a look at the two Tejas fighter jet variants, one of which India is now employing and the other of which is scheduled to launch next year, while engines are still being developed. Let's learn more about this fighter jet and what makes these two planes remarkable and one of a kind. The Tejas Mk-1, usually referred to as the HAL Tejas, is a light combat aircraft created for the Indian Air Force. It is a single-seat, single-engine, multi-role fighter aircraft made to suit the requirements of the Indian Armed Forces. While Tejas Mk-2 also referred as the Tejas Mark II, is an upgraded variant of the Tejas, a light combat aircraft. Created by the Indian companies, HAL and Aeronautical Development Agency. It is intended to be a multi-role fighter aircraft with the ability to carry out a variety of tasks, including as air superiority, ground attack, reconnaissance, and electronic warfare. Tejas Mk-1 has great maneuverability and agility in combat with its delta wing design and tailless compound delta platform. It has cutting-edge avionics and equipment, including fly-by-wire flying controls, cutting-edge radar, and capability for electronic warfare. The Tejas Mk-2 features a combination of cutting-edge composite materials, such as carbon fiber composites, which help to reduce weight and increase structural strength. The aircraft has a quadruplex digital fly-by-wire flight control system, which offers superior handling characteristics and increased maneuverability. While both variants are members of the same family, there are several notable differences between them. Here's a comparison between Tejas Mk-1 and Tejas Mk-2. Tejas Mk-1 has a length of 13.2 meters, 43.31 feet whereas Mk-2 is slightly larger, with a length of 14.65 meters, 48 feet. Mk-1 has a wingspan of 8.20 meters, 26.90 feet. While Mk-2 has a wingspan of 8.50 meters, 27.56 feet. Tejas Mk-1 has a maximum takeoff weight of around 13,500 kilograms, 29,760 pounds and Mk-2 has a maximum takeoff weight is expected to be around 17,500 kilograms, 38,580 pounds. Tejas Mk-1 variant is powered by a single GEF 404 GEIN 20 turbofan engine. While the Mk-2 variant is expected to feature a more powerful engine, the General Electric F414 GEIN-S6 turbofan engine. Tejas Mk-1 which provides a maximum thrust of approximately 85 kN. For Mk-2 variant it has a maximum thrust of around 98 kN. Tejas Mk-1 variant has eight hardpoints for carrying various air-to-air -air and air-to-ground weapons with a maximum payload capacity of around 5,300 kg, 11,700 pounds. While Mk-2 variant is expected to have an increased payload capacity with the ability to carry a wider range of weapons, including air-to-air, air-to-ground, and anti-ship missiles. Tejas Mk-1 variant has a maximum speed of Mach 1.6 and a service ceiling of around 16,000 meters. And for Mk-2 variant, it has a maximum speed of Mach 1.8 and a service ceiling of around 17,300 meters. It's important to remember that the Tejas Mk-2 is still in the development stage and such the above-mentioned parameters could change as the project moves forward. Thanks for watching. Share your thoughts about both fighter jets in the comments section.